A strong rebound by financials helped Wall Street's main indexes close firmly in positive territory on Thursday after some of the country's largest lenders came to the rescue of embattled First Republic Bank. After the collapse of SVB Financial and Signature Bank, investors panicked about First Republic, whose shares have been rocked over worries of possible contagion. But on Thursday, financial institutions including J.P. Morgan Chase and Morgan Stanley confirmed earlier reports that they would deposit up to $30 billion into First Republic's coffers to stabilize the lender. That came after U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen told lawmakers in testimony that the banking system is sound. I can reassure the members of the committee that our banking system is sound and that Americans can feel confident that their deposits will be there when they need them. The Dow gained more than 1 percent, the S&P 500 jumped nearly 1.8 percent, and the Nasdaq soared 2.5 percent. Shares of First Republic had plunged early in the session but ended up gaining nearly 10 percent on Thursday, while J.P. Morgan and Morgan Stanley each rose roughly 2 percent. George Ball, chairman of Sanders Morris Harris, says the fears over First Republic were unwarranted, but that it might now make a nice acquisition for J.P. Morgan and its CEO, Jamie Dimon. First Republic is an interesting example of uh, investors, I think, uh, anticipating a problem where none exists. But the very anticipation and the drawdown in their deposit base uh, has put the bank at some degree of risk. It's interesting to me because First Republic has is, is historically and correctly been known as a bank of the rich. Uh, and that, I think, is what spawned the purported interest of J.P. Morgan in acquiring First Republic. And the reason the stock has rebounded from uh, a very low base uh, today. Jamie Dimon understands banking for the rich. The latest twist in the U.S. regional bank saga came on the heels of a 50 basis point rate hike by the European Central Bank. Now the focus shifts to the Federal Reserve's next move, which has become more complicated in the wake of the recent banking chaos. Money markets are now largely pricing in a 25 basis point rate hike by the Fed at its March 22nd policy announcement, down from 50 basis points a week ago, though some Fed watchers think there could be no change at all. There's nothing the Fed can do that's right. They're going to be criticized no matter what they do. But Ball ultimately believes the Fed will go with 25 basis points. That's what people expected prior to this, and it may, in a perverse way, be an indication that the Fed is confident enough in the banking system that they can go ahead with their monetary policy as previously planned. And as for other movers, shares of Facebook parent Meta Platforms and Snapchat operator Snap Inc. both rose after the federal government threatened to impose a ban on rival TikTok. The European Central Bank is pressing ahead with rate hikes despite the turmoil on global stock markets. Inflation is projected to remain too high for too long. On Thursday, it raised its benchmark rate by another half a percentage point to 3%. Only a few days ago, that had been seen as all but certain. But doubts had crept in after the rout in global bank stocks, sparked by the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and worries over the survival of Credit Suisse. ECB chief Christine Lagarde said stubbornly high inflation meant the bank had to press on with hikes. But, she said, policymakers were ready to respond if the situation changed. We are monitoring current market tensions closely and stand ready to respond as necessary to preserve price stability and financial stability in the euro area. Rising interest rates have been seen as a major factor in the recent troubles for some banks. Among other reasons, they tend to lower the value of bonds which form a vast chunk of the balance sheet for many lenders. So it was no surprise to see a mixed market reaction. Eurozone bank shares hit two-month lows after the news, but later rallied. Credit Suisse shares also seesawed, but remained up around 17% following the morning's news that it had secured a $54 billion lifeline from the Swiss central bank. Now attention turns to whether the Federal Reserve will also press ahead with hikes when it meets next week. After the ECB move on Thursday, markets were pricing in another quarter-point increase in the US.